Hello and welcome to this presentation about professional advancement and how to move across the salary scale and apply for sabbatical leave. Um, this presentation is based on the Flex workshop that was conducted during Flex Week in Fall 2018. My name is Professor Jana Braun. I am currently the chair of the Professional Advancement Committee at Mesa College. In order to get to the Professional Advancement website, here is a condensed URL. Um, other ways to get to it would include going to the Mesa College homepage and then typing in Professional Advancement in the search engine. The PAC website contains links to the following items. It contains the AFT contract language regarding professional advancement committee procedures, forms for professional development proposals and proposal completion, FAQs about professional advancement, guidelines for creative and scholarly works, as well as sabbatical information, and committee meeting dates. What is professional advancement? Professional advancement is formally known on campus as professional development, and that indicates what we, as faculty members, have done to further our knowledge. The Professional Advancement Committee, or PAC, on campus is charged with the responsibility of verifying professional growth work that has been completed by faculty members so that they can be paid for this further education and advance on the salary pay scale. Professional advancement includes coursework, scholarly and creative works, work experience, and participation in seminars, workshops, and conferences. As far as the contract, to find specific language in the AFT contract about professional advancement and sabbatical leaves, look for the following sections. Article 8, Salary, starting with A4.0, Salary Steps in Class Advancement, for more information about getting credit for courses taken and for scholarly and creative works, and for professional development starting with 18.2, sabbatical leave. There are two basic forms that one must complete for professional advancement. The first one is called the Professional Development Proposal Form. This form you would submit prior to taking any courses for PAC credit. You have to include proper documentation with this form depending on what you are asking credit for. For example, if you are taking a course at a college, you must include the official course description from the college catalog, either online or print. If you are asking credit for attending a conference or seminar, you must include some kind of conference flyer. The flyer can be an email, a printout from a website, or a social media announcement. On the forum, be sure to obtain the signatures of both your department chair and your dean. After you've done all this and successfully completed the form, submit the form to the Academic Senate Office, either via inter-office mail or through the mail slot in A117. Be sure to properly label in your envelope that what you are submitting is for professional advancement. After you've completed the professional development form, in order to ensure that you get credit for your work, you must also complete and submit the report of completion of professional development proposal. This is traditionally submitted after you have completed what was in your proposal form. So after you complete your course or attend your conference, this is the form that you will complete. Again, you must include proper documentation. For example, if you've completed a course, you must submit sealed official transcripts. If you've attended a conference, you must include the official conference program as well as a log of hours indicating how many hours you attended the conference. 
Once again, you'll want to obtain the signatures of your chair and your dean and submit the form to the Academic Senate Office via inter-office mail or through the mail slot in A117. Again, both of these forms can be found on the Professional Advancement website. They are downloadable PDFs and can be filled out online. What are some examples of professional advancement? Well, one thing is a conference, seminar, or workshop that pertains to your faculty service area. In other words, the subject that you teach. An upper division, graduate level, or extension course that directly relates to your teaching assignment from an accredited college or university. A lower division course in either computer technology or a foreign language. You can complete a maximum of 12 units combined in this area for professional advancement credit. Completion of a scholarly or a creative work. This could be an article published in a scholarly journal or a piece of artwork that you created or were commissioned to create. Uh, be sure to read the guidelines for these. Also, professional work experience or internships. There are certain things, however, that do not qualify as professional advancement. For example, a college course that is not related to your faculty service area. In other words, you teach English, but the course is an exercise science. A course from a non-accredited institution. An activity that takes place during your regularly scheduled on-campus hours. A self-published blog. Salary advancement. There are six columns or classes on the salary scale. When you were hired at Mesa College, Human Resources and Payroll determined which column you fell in. You can move to a different salary class for every 15 semester units that you complete after your date of hire. To qualify for salary advancement, PAC paperwork must be submitted by the deadlines stated by the district. The salary advancement deadlines for fall 2018 are as follows. For all other semesters, the salary advancement deadlines are typically within the first two months of the semester. Contract faculty are also eligible to apply for a sabbatical leave after six consecutive years of full-time employment and every seventh year thereafter. Start thinking now about what you might want to do for your sabbatical. Applications are due in early spring. Examples of what one can do during a sabbatical leave include things such as academic coursework, retraining, work experience or an internship, or creation of a new curriculum. If you take academic coursework or attend any conferences or seminars during your sabbatical, you can request that those units count uh, toward professional advancement. You still would need to complete the forms, of course. The application for sabbatical leave can be found on the PAC website. Applications must include the following. An abstract of no more than 100 words describing your sabbatical for board docket approval. A full sabbatical plan description, including your need for the sabbatical, a description of exactly what you plan to do during your sabbatical, objectives of what you hope to achieve during the sabbatical, the evidence of completion that you will show that you completed all of the above items during your sabbatical. Evidence of completion can compose many different things. For example, if your sabbatical is comprised of taking college courses, your evidence of completion would be official course transcripts. You would also talk about how your sabbatical is relevant to your current or new assignment and how it will assist improvement of student learning, as well as a timeline of when you plan to accomplish certain things during your sabbatical. Here are some tips to enhance your chances of having your sabbatical application approved. Number one, less is more. 
please be succinct in telling the committee what you plan on doing during your sabbatical. Being verbose, going on and on, including multiple pages of articles and research is not the way to go. Be as specific as possible. Tell the committee exactly what you plan to do. Ensure that your sabbatical will benefit not just you, but the college as a whole. Discuss your application with your chair and your dean before submitting it for their approval. If your sabbatical application includes research, you will need to first meet with Pam and discuss it with her before submitting your application. Your application will need to include a letter from Pam indicating that you discussed it with her. Any research-based sabbatical applications that do not include a letter from the president will not be considered. Also make sure that you are eligible for a sabbatical before submitting your application. Examples of successful applications can be viewed in the Academic Senate Office in A117. The members of the Professional Advancement Committee for Fall 2018 are as follows. Every school has at least one representative, so find out who yours is. Before you contact the chair with questions, contact your school representative because they might be able to answer your question sooner than the chair.